G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, today I am using my small geode tray mold. This is my small one. I've got an extra large on, which is huge. Wouldn't even fit on this. Um, but this is what I'm using today. And I'm going to do something similar to what I did, you know, with the, the ripples, how I uh, dusted my mold with chameleon flakes and then I poured black resin on and then when it was um, sort of soft I'm just going to start while I'm talking to you it was it was soft but um, it wasn't hard enough that I couldn't manipulate it and bend it so I'm going to do that again um, but I'm not going to put it back into a mold this time like I did with the last one I'm just going to be a little bit more artistic well I'm going to try to anyway because a lot of people said oh you know, when I, when I said, oh, it doesn't have to be useful, it can just be a gorgeous piece of art, a lot of people said, yeah, why not? So I'm just being really careful that I don't blow or get these too much of these into the air. <laughs> they just go everywhere. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to dust it with these chameleon flakes and then I'll rub them in. When it's sort of covered nicely, I'll kind of rub them in, but I'm just sort of putting little blobs down so I can get that kind of uh, rainbowy um, galaxy kind of a, a look rather than just having blocks of, of color if you know what I mean um, so yeah once once I've waited about three hours and if you're going to do this, make sure that you're not doing it after dinner, you know. Make sure that you can come back and do this before you go to bed. You don't have to be getting up at midnight to manipulate it. So think about that before you start a project like this. So what have I... It's quarter past three now. So by the time I get started, it's going to be like 3.30, which means I'll be manipulating at about 6.30 p.m. this evening. Um, and then I'm just going to try and I'm not sure if I'm just going to do it as a piece of art or whether I'm going to kind of um, fo uh, form it into like a shallow platter because I have got something that I have used with this mold before so I may do that we'll see we'll see what happens well what color is this one so these are the let's resin chameleon flakes I will put their website link their uk amazon store link and their us amazon store link down below uh, and there's also a coupon code so you can get 10 percent off um so yeah so i'm using these i would like to try also the intense chameleon powders as well i'd like to use those as well Maybe next time. All right, well, let's see if that's enough. Like, I know there's a lot of white blank space there, but as I as I brush these in, and I'm just using a really soft makeup brush, but if it's not covering well enough, as you can see, it's not really. I'll, I'll put some more on. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, just sort of do this, but I really wanted to kind of splash the colors around and then when you when you do this you kind of get like a little speckled look I don't know if you can see it but you get kind of like a speckled look where the flakes have hit and have kind of stuck to the mold so it's not like a really smooth effect like you get with the um, chameleon powders it is more of a, a speckledy kind of a look so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this I'll put you on fast forward just it's going to take a while and I'll see you at the end when I've made up my black.
Okay, so that's done. Look at the colours. So cool, hey? You can see what I mean about you can see the, the flakes, like it's not really um, a smooth effect. It's kind of like that sort of dimply effect. So up to you if you like that or not, or prefer just to go with the regular, oops, I've got my finger in the way, the regular chameleon powders. Uh, the flakes will give you a slightly different look. There we go. Put you back up there. <laughs> now, uh, I wasn't exactly sure how much resin to make up because I only want to make this about four millimeters thick. And so I mixed up, I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. So when you're doing this, don't use like a deep pour resin or something that's going to take, you know, 24 hours to go off. You want something that's basically a... Something that, well, I use something that I can unmold in about eight hours. So I know when it gets to about three hours, I'll be able to pick it up and shape it. But I guess if it's if that's all you've got, then you go with what you've got. Just start early in the morning so that, like I said, you're not up at midnight finishing your project. So, yeah, I wasn't sure how much to mix up. So I did 200 grams of A and 86 grams of B, 286 grams. It's basically about... 10 ounces, just under 10 ounces, maybe 9 ounces. But yeah, I just want to put a little bit in first, make sure that it's covered, and then I'll see how much more I can put in. I don't want to go scraping the bottom with my stick, that's why I'm trying to do this. Although I'm probably going up the sides, I don't really want it to go. Oh, look, I can do that too. <laughs> Yes, I can do that. Let's do that. Let's push it down this way. Look at that. Ah, all right. So now we're covered. The base is covered. And I'll just let that settle and then we'll see how much I've got. I've still got some more here, but like I said, I want to do about four millimeters. Now this is just the little plastic ruler. It Sometimes they get attached to notebooks and then you just cut them off. That's what this one was. So let's pop that in there. Mm, it's about three millimeters. So put a little bit more in. You can go four to five, especially with something that's this size. When I did my coasters, um, I only poured it like two millimeters. It was a little bit thin, but then I also didn't wait quite long enough so that I didn't really get those folds. I kind of got more <laughs> crushed folds, <laughs> but it's, it was still really beautiful. Now, the other thing you need to do is um, these little silicone earbuds or whatever, they're really good too, just to sort of pop bubbles. You don't want to go scratching the bottom because you might see where you've scratched your colors and you don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to scratch your powders. So you just go along and if you see a little bubble, just move it, but I think we're pretty good there. Okay, let's check that height now. Hopefully I'm not leaving a line mark in the bottom. Oh, it's still three and a half. I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in, you guys. Clean off my little ruler. Because it's a bigger piece, I'd rather have it a little bit bigger than, you know, I can really make some nice folds in it. And there's a piece of glitter. Chameleon flakes. I'm going to be finding chameleon flakes in all my work for the next month. All right, might as well just finish this off. So, yeah, in about... Um, Two and a half to three hours. We'll see how it is. Now this is the back. It's going to be like the underneath. So there's no reason why you can't spray it. It doesn't matter if it's going to leave like a little watermark, oil slick type thing on the back. Because you're not going to see it. We're going to be looking at the other side. So quite happy to spray with the alcohol. All right, that's me done for now. Um, I'm going to put the timer on. And uh, we'll see how we go in... 
check it in two and a half hours because it's pretty thick the thicker you go the faster it's going to cure so I'll check it in two and a half hours so I'll see you then okay so I came and checked it at two and a half hours and it was still really sticky uh, and then I was checking it every 15 minutes after that so now we are up to three and a half hours I started at 3.30 and now it's 7 p.m. Just had my dinner, scoffed it down real quick. I've been testing this little corner here. The middle has set because the Platinum 360 Plus, it tends to get harder in the center. So I don't know if I'll be able to bend that. I might have to get my heat gun out. But at least it's coming away from the edges now, whereas it wasn't before. <laughs> it was just like, it was still sticky. See, I can touch it now without leaving a fingerprint. Before it was leaving a fingerprint, so I knew it wasn't going to be ready. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to put down this silicone mat, like so, and I'll do that, that way, because it's not set yet, obviously, so I don't want it sticking to my, my workbench, so it's best just to put down um, a silicone sheet, like a silicone mat, or even a, a plastic bag whatever you've got that will stop your resin from sticking to your work surface because that would not be good oh there it is there it is there it is yay <laughs> all right where will i put you let's put you over here for a minute okay now the fun begins so oh yes i can still bend it so now i can either just make my folds and things or i can make my folds and put it into this tray so anyway we'll just get we'll just get started actually this is where I should put my gloves on shouldn't I because last time I was my fingernails were digging into it Let's see if maybe this will mm, I don't know I don't know if it'll help but we'll try Let's see if it'll be any any easier I'm gonna start like in the middle so remember this is not going it may not necessarily be a piece of functional usable <laughs> something it might just be a pretty piece of art okay <laughs> and uh, not all resin has to be functional <laughs> so you can just just go mad just have fun with it okay make a few folds do what you want um, and you can always come back and add a few more like in here but you probably need to just yeah it just depends on how many sort of folds and things that you want to put in there I guess I'm gonna have to turn my heater off I put my heater on to warm the room up and now it's whew, getting hot <laughs> oh, hot 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 all right because it's getting really cold in Queensland now in Australia like winter's almost here winter's coming you guys winter's coming so um, yeah I've had the heater on to try and get my my silicon molds to set a bit faster as well as well as my resin projects things everything just to set a little bit faster than it would normally oops no I don't like that there but you can change things here and if you don't like something you can change it. I'm going to turn the heater off, hang on. Now if your resin's a little bit too soft still, when you make a fold like that and then you move over here and you do something else, it'll be gone. So you just need to kind of catch it at the right sort of thickness, I guess. Oops, I'm not really liking this corner here. I have to kind of hide it a bit. <laughs> oh, it's looking really pretty. It's looking pretty. I'm trying to make them all not quite the same, like heading in the same direction, you know. I want them to be a little bit more, a little bit different. And there goes my alarm to check it at seven o'clock. <laughs> and I did. Yes, I am. It was a few minutes early, but I did. All right. Now, 
this bit here. I'm not loving this edge here. I don't know. I don't know why. It's a bit. It's a bit weird there. Probably played with it a bit too much. So it's starting to get a quite a bit hard now. So it's probably not too much more I can do to it. Now this bit here that's kind of sticking out, all I'm going to do, I'm going to fold that over like that because I can. I just don't like that. Like it was a little bit thin there. So there's no reason why you can't do that. Okay. If you don't like a, a section, just fold it over. See? It's fine. Gone. <laughs> yeah, just fold it over. Doesn't matter. Now I need to kind of mimic that over on this side as well and have a few little smaller pieces on this side. But I have to get a riddle on really because it's going to start curing, setting a bit hard. If you wanted to have a little bit more work time with it, just get your heat gun out and heat it a little bit if you wanted to. Um, just a little bit and that will just soften it just enough for you to maybe do a little bit more to it depending on you know what you want to do to it I don't really want to do anything else to it I just wanted to show you that you could do that okay so I think that's I think that's about it I'm still not loving this corner here well it's not a corner but I'll fix it that's better that's better. Okay, um, that's pretty much, I think that's about all I want to do to it. If, if it was thinner, if I hadn't made it five millimeters thick and if I hadn't have, if I'd come back, you know, maybe 10 minutes earlier, I could have had a lot more little folds in it, but they don't tend to stand up like this. They tend to just collapse on themselves so for me I prefer this look um, where I get more interest in it and see I can have these little bits poking up like this if I wanted to and have that little one there this one's up here I think I'm just going to leave it I was going to kind of put it into that but it's it's kind of I've condensed it now um, but if you wanted to you could put this into a, another bowl I'll see what I've got but I don't think we need to do that because it's it's just like a piece of art you know you could hang it up you could just sit it on your bookshelf it's just it's just a little talking point I think I don't think you need to to do too much to it I'm going to heat that little area there. Oops, now I've made it too sticky. I'll fix that later. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's come down and have a little look. Let's have a little look. But yeah, if you if you make if you wanted to have, you know, smaller folds and things like that, you just need to um, a have your resin. My resin was, I think, about that thick. You need to have it like thinner. Um, and also, if you want to have more pliable time with it, start a little bit earlier. But look, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I just wanted to create some interest, um, some different colours there. As you turn around, it catches different light. You can see different colours. Just, just a piece of art. You can put a hook on it, hang it on your wall, put it on a bookshelf. Just leave it on the coffee table. <laughs> you can actually throw your keys into it. You know, you can put your jewellery on it. I don't know. It's just a gorgeous piece. That's it. That's all it is. It doesn't have to do anything. All right. Um, that'll be it for now. I'll just leave it as it is. And uh, tomorrow when it's fully cured, I'll take it outside and show you what it looks like. Um, the other thing you could do if you particularly wanted to, I, I don't think I will, is once it's cured you could spray it with some clear gloss varnish if you wanted it to be more shiny but 
again up to you all right i'll see you guys in the morning